That is my book corner store is in the middle of the block. Got a lot of shit on my mind today. So I got into an argument on Facebook last night. <laughs> with some dudes about like I was telling people, I was like, I don't know why, you know, like black people are so happy or you know, like uh putting so much faith in Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton opposed to Donald Trump. And I was saying Donald Trump is a you know, Donald Trump is telling you what's on his mind. Why do people have a problem with that? He's just telling you shit the way he see it. And he's blunt, being blunt and brutally honest. And the problem that black people have is that we don't like the truth. You know, Donald Trump was no different than Bill Clinton. And like I tell people, like, like if you've been on the same job for 20 something years, that means you done seen like four, you done seen at least three or four different presidents in your lifetime. And what has changed in those last 20 years if you've been on the same job in your lifetime? You know, even when they had the economical crisis in America, if you're from the hood, how did that shit bother you? How did the, how did America's, um, uh, financial crisis bother people in the hood? You know, your rent is being paid automatically. You're getting food stamps. What the fuck you worried about? Why was people in the hood? Oh, the country's going through a great depression. So fucking what? That's for the people up there that own three or four homes that take the helicopters to work. That shit ain't fucking with you. That shit has no fucking, uh, no, it doesn't bother you. It has no bearings on what happens to you, this economical crisis. Not everybody up in arms about who's running for president. I don't like Hillary Clinton. I don't like Bernie Sanders. And I don't like Donald Trump. But I think Donald Trump is the best because he's telling you how he really feels. Fuck, he's only, you know, for so long we've been living in America... You know, like under the guise that everything is so squeaky clean and we might have like little racist incidents here and there. But America's just a racist country. It was founded off of racism. It was founded off of white supremacy. That's what it was founded off. And Donald Trump is just exposing all that shit. That's why I like it down south as to being in New York in that sense that you see racism firsthand. You know, crackers tell you how they feel. They were riding around with their rebel flag and shotguns in their car saying, fuck you, nigga. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care how you feel. They're like, fuck your feelings. So why are you worried about it, black people? You know, Donald Trump is just telling you how he feels. And then black people feel like, oh, you, you know, like once we get a, a Democratic president, or they feel like, oh, we're making strides, we're making progress. No, black people are not making progress in America. Financially, we are in the same condition we were prior to the Civil War. It's the same, but what we see on TV is we see Beyonce with a Gucci bag. You know, like that, like I was saying before in my other video, we live black people, poor black people live vicar live vicariously through wealthy black people or black people that's doing well. And and the funny thing is that they're not even wealthy. They're rich, but they're not wealthy because wealth means that you have a legacy. You have generations of wealth. Rich, like Beyonce is the only rich person in her family. Jay Z is the only rich person in his family. He doesn't come from a, a legacy of wealth. He he's the only one that is rich in his family. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't understand why black people are so worried about this shit. You know, it don't matter who's going to be the president. Like I was saying before, black people make seem like we're making so much progress in America. And we're not. Financially, we're in the same condition today as we were in the Civil War. We had about 100 and some, 150,000 or, or so black people that was living good. Or so-called middle class. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. And the other millions were poor. Living below the poverty line like we are now. So why are y'all worried about this shit? But what it is, black people know how to front. You know, we could get a job off the books and hustle and wear something fresh every day, like a pair of Jordans and shit, but that don't mean nothing. You come outside looking good every day, but that don't mean shit. You know, like you see these white dudes coming outside with raggedy sneakers on and shit, but they got a home. They got wealth. Their children going to school. For, you know, their children are going to college and shit. Our children ain't going to college and shit, but we coming outside fresh every day. So stop that bullshit. What black people need to do is start practicing group economics. Then you will start seeing something, a change. Practicing group economics, have it, then you can put better politicians in order. Better politicians can put better judges on the bench, and then we can practice, and then we can have uh, by media. And then think about education. Then we'll be making progress in America, because right now, all the shit is just cosmetic. That's all it is. It's just for show. It's real simple.